leaked screenshots show that Verizon is experimenting with a video game streaming service to compete against Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. Verizon Gaming will let users stream video games directly to their smartphones and other devices. And the cloud gaming allows players to play those games remotely on their choice of computer or mobile device. Now, Apple says it spends $150 million a year on United flights. The company says it purchases 50 business class flights from San Francisco to Shanghai, China every day. Now, a ticket for the 14-hour journey normally costs about $2,500. According to United's website, Shanghai is the central hub for connecting to flights to the iPhone makers' manufacturing businesses. Well, the NBA has inked a billion-dollar deal to make video games. Take-Two Interactive will continue making the NBA 2K video game franchise and other NBA-branded games, including smartphone apps. The size of the deal reflects the growing popularity of the NBA, but also how much money can be made on microtransactions, those small purchases inside games. And the man who is President Trump's nominee for Attorney General says he's open to looking into breaking up the tech giants. William Barr says he's not necessarily against big, but he is curious how the current laws allow companies like Facebook and Google to become so large and powerful. He also said the Justice Department will likely look into who owns their own personal data. From the Nasdaq Market Site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your Tech Report.